In this tutorial we're going to examine how automatic numbering works within Microsoft Word 2003. First of all, always recommend that if your toolbars are displayed on the same row, you might want to split those up and one way to do that is to go to Tools, Customize, and Check. Show standard and formatting toolbars on two rows and that's under the Options tab. As soon as you do that, you get to see the full the full two toolbars, and uh, no icons are hidden. So that's one advantage of that. There are a couple ways to turn on automatic numbering. We can do it right here from the toolbar. The problem with that is that usually defaults to a simple form of numbering, which isn't always what we want. So we're going to go to Format, Bullets and Numbering, and we're going to pick Outline Numbered and in this case I'm going to pick this first format. Yours may look somewhat different when you look at it because I've customized this a bit. We're going to click on OK and we can start to type. Now as soon as we press enter we get a new number. Now that may not be the spacing that you want so in order to do the double spacing we can hold down the shift key and press enter. That will give us a blank line in between. So if we wanted to go for question number three, we could press shift enter, let go of the shift key, press enter, and there's our question three. Now imagine that question three was a multiple choice question. We could press enter. That would give us the number four, which isn't what we want. But if we tap the tab key, we get our next level in our outlining. So, and we can press enter for each of the choices. Now it is possible to also move from one level of outlining to another using the decrease and increase indent uh, buttons up on the toolbar but we usually find it's easier to learn that it's tab and oh, I'm just gonna go back here let's put a blank line between this one that's shift enter if we press enter again we get another letter which is not what we want we want to return to our numerals so we hold down the shift key and press tab to get number four now we can start with question four now one of the advantages of automatic numbering over manual numbering is that if you come back to a document and you want to change it, let's say we don't want this question, we delete it and all questions are automatically renumbered. So those are the basics of automatic numbering. Now it's also possible to do similar things with bullets. Just go over that very briefly. We'll create a new document here. We'll go to Format bullets and numbering. We'll go to bulleted and we can pick any one of these or we can certainly also every one of these things is customizable right so if I wanted for whatever reason file folders to be my bullets I could pick that I could also pick any character any character from any font and I could even download or put in a picture. For the meantime though we're just going to go with this file folder notion and so here, same thing, shift enter if we want a blank line, I can shift enter again if we want two blank lines, and then. Now if we press enter and we press the tab key, we'll find that we'll end up with another level of bulleting just like we did with numbering. And we can customize all of that, right? So if we wanted to go to Format. Now if we don't happen to like that particular bullet, we can also customize that by going back to Format, Bullets and Numbering, making sure we've selected that, and go Customize. Now we see we're working on this level. That's what this in, is indicating here. So if we wanted that again to be file folders, we could do that. And we could continue working that way. In a similar way, 
we can customize our numbering system which is one thing that I've already done here so if we go to format bullets and numbering we click on customize and here what you find is that down the side are your levels so there's level one a numeral with a period after it there's level two a lowercase letter with a period after it if you wanted that to be a parenthesis you could change that to look like that and you could see that reflected in your outline keep in mind on machines with deep freeze on that change is not going to remain as a standard within word but it should remain with any within any document where you make the change just a couple more things here now suppose that I had some intervening images or something here and then I wanted to resume my numbering down below quickest way to do that is just to come up here and turn numbering back on sometimes you may see a little icon pop up which asks you whether or not you want to resume the numbering or whether you want to restart it if it doesn't pop up let's say that we wanted to restart our numbering here we can right click and choose restart or continue so in this case if we restart numbering then we're back to number one and we start the numbering process all over again. So we press enter and we have our new number. If we want that again to be a letter we can either increase indent here or press the tab key. Remember to go back one level shift tab takes us back. And that's the basics of using automatic numbering and automatic bulleting within Microsoft Word.